All right, what's up, new you crew? We introduced a whole slew of new uh, movements this week. So we worked a lot on transitioning and introducing the barbell movements. We had the conventional deadlift. We even introduced the sumo deadlift. Um, we introduced the front squats and out of the rack. So just wanted to quickly review those first and then say that we can always, always, always modify to dumbbells, right? So I think the ultimate thing that we learned with the barbell was that the barbell uh, is obviously immovable. It uh, forces you into certain positions and you have to be able to properly handle that external load. Um, and if you can't quite do that with the, the barbell positioning you in certain ways, then we always wanna modify to something you feel confident with, okay? So we'll go over the conventional deadlift real quick. All right, so this is transitioning from our kettlebell RDL and kettlebell deadlift, stuff like that. Now we're going to a barbell. So I said, let's bring our feet underneath our hips a little more, um, toes straight on. And when you go down to pick the weight up, you wanna pretend like from your knees down is like a metal rod driving into the uh, floor, okay? So you wanna keep those shins back and out of the way of the barbell. The barbell should be coming straight up. So if you go down into more of a squat, you're gonna to have to alter the bar path out and around your knees or you do something funky with your body. So when you set up, shoot those hips up and back and then grab the barbell outside your legs, tighten up those lats and squeeze those shoulder blades together. My weight's in my heels, I'm wiggling my toes here a little bit to check that and my head is nice and neutral. All I'm thinking about is bringing those hips to the bar, squeezing those hamstrings and glutes. On the way down, you push those hips back keeping the bar sliding down the thighs, lowering right down over those shoelaces. Straight up, bringing those hips to the bar, squeezing your butt, and back. Okay, that was our conventional deadlift. The sumo deadlift. So now we get in our sumo stance, right? Okay, so we go wider with our feet. The wider we go with our feet, the more toe turnout we need because our legs are tracking wherever our feet are pointing. That's the, the big premise there. So we drive our knees out, and we sit down in more of a squat. So this is the big difference between the conventional deadlift and the sumo deadlift. Yes, the stance, but now it's more of a squat and my uh, torso angle is quite a bit more vertical. So from here, I'm still thinking about driving those knees out, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and then squeezing my hips to the bar again, but I'm only getting taller with my torso angle. The common fault we see with this is you guys wanted to make it into a conventional deadlift by bringing those hips up first and then snapping those hips through. Okay, you gotta try to focus on keeping that chest up, squeezing those shoulder blades and only bringing those hips to the bar. All right, so that was our conventional and sumo deadlift. The last one I wanna go over is the front squat. So we worked on the zombie positioning, taking the bar out of the rack, and just kind of feeling where that bar should be resting on the shoulders there in that bony notch, not on your muscles. And as long as those elbows are up, we should be good. All right, as soon as those elbows come down, that bar's rolling down and that's no good because when we're in our front rack position, again, if those elbows are up, we're good, the bar's resting. But as soon as those elbows come down, now I'm holding it up with my elbows, wrists, shoulders, everything going on, and it's not fun for your uh, joints there, okay? So keep those elbows up. Yes, it's definitely touching the throat, tickling you there a little bit. You gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable with it at first. From here, set up, elbows stay tall, sitting down and back, good full range of motion, keeping the knees driven out, elbows up, and then squeeze those glutes to come up and stand right up. Same thing here, we don't wanna see those hips coming up first as you stand up with a barbell. You gotta stay nice and tall, using your skeleton to support the weight, not your muscles. Okay, awesome. So again, just recap, we did the conventional deadlift, sumo deadlift, and um, barbell front squat. We can always, always, always modify with dumbbells, right? So deadlifts, just going to a, um, de a depth that you feel confident with, okay? Same thing with the front squat. Hold them up here, a little easier to hold the dumbbells than being forced into this barbell position with the wrists and everything. Doing our dumbbell front squats. All right, good stuff this week, guys. Week four is at an end. Good work.